recording of the 17th of May 2016 annual meeting of South Tyneside Borough Council. During this meeting, the council will make a number of appointments for the 2016 to 17 municipal year. These include the appointment of the Mayor and Deputy Mayor, the appointment of Chairman, Vice Chairman and members of the committees of the council and the appointment of representatives to serve on outside bodies. In addition, the Council will consider any proposed amendments to the Constitution and will approve the programme of meetings of the Council and their committees. As always, the Council is chaired by the Mayor of South Tyneside. I'm now joined by Councillor Richard Porthouse, who is the Mayor of South Tyneside and will be chairing his last meeting today. So, Councillor Porthouse, what does it feel like to be the Mayor and the first citizen of the borough? Oh, it's been an absolute honour and a privilege. Yeah, not only for me, but for my family as well. Over really back this is what I've been doing and my, my wife's been fantastic all year. And when you first became Mayor you must have had some goals that you wanted to achieve, what, what were you looking to do? Just really to present the, the borough and the people of the borough mm. and the council, so time say council in the best possible way I could. Fantastic and what would you say your, your highlights have been? Well obviously going down to the garden party although I didn't meet the Queen it was actually being in the garden party was mm -hmm. a, was obviously a highlight, and I've just finished by um, being present when uh, Dr. Anne Seymour was presented with her MBE, which was great. That was this afternoon. Can you sum up the year that you've had in just one word? I know that's quite hard, but astonishing, amazing. Mm -hmm. That's two words. <laughs> but both gone with here. Yeah. <laughs> and why is that? But tell me a little bit more about why you've chosen that word. Well. You know, you, you, you go around the borough and you, you realise, you know, you go around your own little bubble before you become mayor. Mm. But after you become mayor, you realise what really goes on in the borough. The, the fantastic uh, support work that goes on, the volunteers mm. that, that, that do fantastic work in this borough is unbelievable. Mm. Um, and do you have a message for the people of South Tyneside? The message for the people of South Tyneside is he's a fantastic people. The, the work that goes on in his borough is fantastic. Uh, it's mentioned from when I go to other boroughs, I'll, the other mayors come here, they always mention how South Tyneside always raises the bar. And for the incoming mayor, if you had any words of wisdom, what would those be? Enjoy and, and try and relax and take everything in mm -hmm. and uh, just be totally honoured by it. Fantastic, thank you so much for speaking to us. I'm now joined by the newly appointed Mayor for 2016-17, Councillor Alan Smith. So first of all, Councillor Smith, can, and many congratulations. Thank you. Um, and I just wondered, what does, it, what does it mean to be the first citizen of the borough? It feels absolutely tremendous. I, am, I was born and bred in Jarrow, and it's a great privilege to be elected by my fellow councillors mm -hmm. to this very important role. And also added bonus is, this has taken place in Jarrow Town Hall, and being a general lad, it really, really feels good. So, what are you looking forward to in this year ahead? Um, education, I say, was the first thing because my background is education. Mm. So, I'll be looking at ways where I can help the education of young people in order they can achieve the full potential in life because I think that's so important. Mm -hmm. And connected to that is I'm looking forward to opening the world. Yeah because that is a brilliant asset for education, not just for young people, but for the whole borough. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm looking forward to working with groups, especially disadvantaged groups. Mm -hmm. The Deputy Mayoress and myself have already been involved in groups, mm -hmm. and the amount of voluntary work is absolutely fantastic. And we're really looking forward to working with more of these groups, because it gives them a buzz. Yeah. And if you've got, um, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a lot clearly there that you want to achieve, but what would you say was, say, like your three priorities? Um, the first one would be my three main charities, mm -hmm. which I'll, I'll mention later. Yeah. We'd showcase them mm -hmm. because they do, they do really, really valuable work. Um, the other thing would be to look at the quality of life and try mm. and help people to fulfil their life mm. and to recognise achievement of the what I call the unsung heroes um, so to you know recognise them and also to promote the Buddha so that people would want to live and work and bring up children in this fantastic Buddha. Fantastic so you mentioned your charities did so can you tell me a little bit more about which charities you've chosen? Yeah um, South Tyneside Macmillan Young Carers, South Tyneside 
Diabetes UK and South Tyneside Citizen Advice Bureau. Because once again, they do valuable work, the three, and I don't think they get much publicity. So Just I will try and, try and showcase them as, as much as their profile. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And would you, um, would, would you have a message for the people of South Tyneside out there as, as their new mayor? Anything you'd like to say to the people? Yeah, just to say I will do my best to promote the borough and the people in the borough, because there are mm -hmm. lovely people in here, and realise, recognise the fact that it's a lovely borough to live in, mm -hmm. and with all these new developments taking place, I'll be hoping to promote that, so as to make it a better place to work, live, bring up the family, mm -hmm. and, and all that, and hopefully I'll be promoting, promoting that. Fantastic. And I look forward to the next year and doing this. Fantastic, a busy year ahead. <laughs> I hope so. For you and the mayor, yes. <laughs> yes. Fantastic, thank you so much, Councillor Smith. Thank you. So, if you would like any more information about any of the mayor's charities or any of the council meetings, then go along to www.southtyneside.gov.uk. <laughs> Welcome to the meeting of the Council. I'm required to inform you that this meeting is being recorded. If any member of the public or press would like more information about this, or if they intend to record proceedings themselves, please contact Strategy and Democracy Services, who will be more than happy to advise. Any member who wishes to speak from the floor or on any of the agenda items should use the lectern. <coughs> Can I also take this opportunity to welcome to the Council, Councillors Keegan, Mark Hume and Townsley. The first business is to elect the Mayor for the new municipal year. Can I now call for nominations for Mayor? I move Councillor Alistair for Mayor. do you wish to speak in support of uh, your motion? Mr Mayor, distinguished guests, fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen. First, may I begin by saying it's a privilege for me to address council tonight and also a great honour for me to move the nomination of my colleague, Councillor Alan Smith, to be the next Mayor of our wonderful borough of South Tyneside. The Office of Mayor is the highest honour that our council can bestow on a member. The Office of May is the highest honour that our Council can bestow on a member and reflects the high level of respect afforded to Alan and is also a measure of the appreciation of public service that Alan has given to our borough. I know that Alan will take every opportunity to promote and showcase our borough within the region and across the country. Alan was born and bred in Jarrow. He still lives here and is proud to say he's a Jarrow lad. He attended school at St Bede's before moving on to South Tyneside College and then on to St John the Baptist de la Salle in Manchester, where he trained as a teacher and started his dedication to the education of children. Education is the backbone of our society and to teach children and young people is the envy of many. Throughout his career as a teacher, Alan has inspired and motivated many hundreds of children to achieve the very best they can. He has taught in numerous schools, including St Cuthbert's and St Wilfred's, to name but a few. Recently, I was with Alan when we met a fellow councillor from a neighbouring borough who had been a former pupil of his. She was full of praise for Alan and said she'd learned to be understanding of others through watching Alan teach and learning that his style of teaching managed to get the very best out of students. For me, it was inspiring to hear somebody remember their former teacher 25 years ago with such admiration. In his professional life as a teacher and then as an advisor, Alan was always involved with teacher unions, trying to influence and promote 
the very best working practices and working environments for both young people and teachers alike. As a member of the National Union of Teachers, he attended many national and regional conferences as a delegate for South Tyneside NUT Division. He was president of the local division and a treasurer for many, many years. As a councillor, Alan continues to be involved in education. He's chair of governors at both Heberfield Primary, Clairvaux Nursery, and also the vice chair of St Joseph's Primary. I know these roles as governors are ones he takes very seriously. Alan has a reputation for being a man who gets things done. For example, he accepted the position of chair of governors at a school that required improvement, and he took on the role with relish. He continues to work closely with the new head teacher and staff to make improvements in all areas of the school life. Alan is an active member of the community, supporting numerous organisations, the CUV, a church member, and is also a qualified Badminton Association of England coach, which I didn't know about. Alan is a family man, married to Moira, one of our fellow members. They have been married for 49 years, and we know that the secret of a long and happy marriage is to be supportive of each other. I know that Alan and Moira will support each other through the wondrous month ahead as Mayor and Mayoress. The Smith family unit is made up of three children, Chris, Clay and Richard, all of whom are married to Sue, Mark and Anna respectively. They have four wonderful grandchildren, Matthew, Jessica, Adam and Oliver, oh, Olivia, sorry, whom I know Alan is very proud of. I believe Alan has the ambition, proven track record and the attributes necessary to follow in the footsteps of our previous great mayors. It is my pleasure to nominate Councillor Alan Smith as the next Mayor of South Tyneside for the Mayor Civil Year 2016-17. And you, Councillor Hundy. Is that seconded? Mm -hmm. Councillor Kilgour, do you wish to speak in support of the motion? Yes, Thank you, Mr Mayor. I'd like to congratulate you and our Mayoress Patricia for making us truly proud to belong to this borough. You've been the people's Mayor and Mayoress. Thank you. Now to my ward councillor and friend, Councillor Alan Smith. I've known Alan for many years, attending the same schools as his children and the same parish church of St Joseph's. I began working with Alan when I became a parent governor of St Joseph's Primary School. He was and remains, as Councillor Hunter <coughs> mentioned, Vice Chair of Governors there. I found him hugely supportive and very quickly realised that we could bring about positive changes for the good of our children and community together. Alan was key in making staff appointments and the school continues to go from strength to strength. One of his favourite sayings is education, education, education. He encouraged me to become a governor with him at Clairvaux Nursery School when my term at St Joseph's ended. Apart from living nearby, I hadn't any real links with the nursery. However, with Alan's backing, he ensured that I very quickly became a part of the fixtures and fittings and I'd like to offer my special thanks to him for that. Councillor Huntley and I were drawn to becoming councillors as part of an inspiring community journey in which Alan and Moira were very heavily involved. We grew together and formed the very strong team that we are today. Our people are at the heart of everything we do. During the recent elections, one of our Felgate residents was keen to provide an endorsement for Alan. I think <coughs> this is the time to share it with you all, she said, Marilyn. Alan has worked very hard for our community. He has taken care of lots of people and issues. His track record is remarkable. We need more people like him. Councillor Huntley and I do say that he's a rose between two very prickly thorns, but I don't think he likes it. Alan and Myra's year ahead is one that I'm sure will bring great joy to them, but also a great honour to our borough and to our ward of Felgate and Hedworth, but never forgetting Calf Close. I wish you both every happiness and success, and with great pleasure, second Councillor Huntley's nomination. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Gilgawa. Are there any other nominations? Is the motion agreed? Yes. Can I ask Councillor Alan Smith to come forward <coughs> and make a declaration of acceptance of office?
I, Alan Smith, have been elected to the office of Mayor of South Tyneside Council. I declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfill the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. Okay, I'd like to start by saying thank you, Councillor Huntley and Councillor Gilgala, for those kind words. I really do appreciate your support. And yes, I do enjoy being a rose. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to thank Councillor Porthouse and his mayoress, Patricia, for the hard work they have to put in during their mayoral year. Thank you again. I must say that I am thrilled and honoured to be elected by my fellow councillors to the important <coughs> role of Mayor of South Tyneside. <coughs> Moira is my mayoress, and together we will endeavour to behold the good name of the office and prove to be worthwhile ambassadors by promoting the many achievements within South Tyneside. My three main charities, because I also cover other charities, but my three main charities will be South Tyneside Macmillan Young Carers. South Tyneside Diabetes UK and South Tyneside Citizens Advice Bureau. Thank you. Can I now call on Councillor Sewell to move a vote of thanks to Councillor Porthouse. Thank you, Thank you. Respond to the vote of thanks. 
So listen, so let's have a <laughs> What time are you? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Congratulations on your appointment. Can I wish you all the best on your year in office? Thank you, Councillor Sewell. Patricia and I began our year by going to Buckingham Palace for the Queen's Royal Garden Party the day after our investiture. And finished today by being present at Dr. Anne Seymour being awarded her British Empire Medal for the wonderful work she has put in for charity. A massive thank you goes to my wife Patricia, who supported me in everything I've been invited to do with me. A thank you goes to Councillor Hellison, who took on the majority of the casework in our award, allowing me to carry out my mayoral duties. Thank you, Adam. In the months between those two events, we've covered 550 events and raised approximately £29,000 for the Mayor's charity. The three main charities being Cancer Connections, Alzheimer's South Tyneside Branch and the Great North Air Ambulance. Can I thank everyone who has donated to the charities for their kindness and support. I must point out that along the way we've had the privilege to meet some astounding people, young and old, who do amazing work in the volunteer sector within South Tyneside. <coughs> too, many, too many to mention by name. We have realised what an essential part of the borough they are. We've also had the privilege to meet members of the police force, fire service, the army, navy, and especially the normally veterans who have took me heart and are a credit to South Tyneside. I could stand here all night reminiscing on the, on the wonderful events hosted by South Tyneside Council, the summer festival, in the parade, the concerts in the park, the Christmas carol concerts in Temple Park, the civic ball, all of which made, made us the envy of the other authorities. The chain gang, who I know that know very well, so, <laughs> have commented on numerous occasions that South Tyneside had raised the bar in, in everything that they've organised in, in all of the significant events that they host during the year. I would like to congratulate Joseph Craig, a fantastic young man who was a credit to the borough and went up there and several with me and on his going to Rio to represent Britain in the Paralympics. I'd also like to commend the, the gymnasts who came back from China with gold and silver medals <coughs> earlier this year, bringing more claim to the borough. South Shields Football Club and their wonderful achievements this season. And my wife and I witnessed that Clement on his Guinness Book of Records achievement. And of course, my beloved son for keeping the Premier League status. <laughs> <laughs> Another high was present the Duke of Edinburgh Awards to schools and organisations, especially to the students of Keelman's Way School, which is a special needs school in my ward in heaven. Some 10 cents future is in good hands with students like these. A personal high for me was um, being allowed to sing with the rock legends, especially with some of the musicians actually being in the Animals Band, and then being offered the opportunity to re record the House of Rises soon by a record company. Honest. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank the inimitable, inimitable Faye Cunningham and Stella Matthewson for their sterling work raising funds for my charity. My sisters Elizabeth and Susan, and friends Eileen Corn, Rosemary Oxbury, who also made substantial contributions. I'd like to thank my neighbour Natasha, I think I'm the only man that's had a name, Natasha, George Bourne, who has helped me and provided me invaluable support. Thank you to all the members who have supported our charity events and bought tickets and donated prizes. Special thanks to the Civic team with Julie Cuskin and Karen Taylor working with us on a daily basis, keeping us on the right path. <coughs> Jim Fraser, Paul Williams, transporting us to all of our destinations safely. Thank you also goes to the Strategy and Democracy team member support and of course the events team. I hope in my own way that I've made a difference soon and that the new mayor will enjoy this year as much as Patricia and I have. Thank you everyone. Can I now have nominations for the appointment of the deputy mayor? Councillor Walsh, do you wish to speak in support of your motion?
Can I just say before I start, um, congratulations to uh, Councillor Smith and his wife Moira being the new Mayor and Mayoress of South Tyneside. I know you do a sterling job. And also a massive thank you to Richard Porthouse and his wife Patricia for the wonderful year they have they've represented South Tyneside. We really do appreciate it. Before I go on um, a little journey with regarding Olive Punchin, can I just say that Olive uh, Punchin and Mary French have been friends of my family for over 40 years and that connection is through um, Councillor Cecilia Pearson who was my aunt but also worked at Plessy's. Uh, the three of them went, when they met all those years ago remained friends right up until Celia's death last year um, and have always remained friends. Um, so I've known Olive now for over 40 years. Um, <clears throat> Olive was married to Jimmy. Uh, they have one daughter, Leslie, and Olive is proud to have a lovely son-in-law, Brian, <coughs> and two lovely grandchildren, Abigail and um, Alex. Um, and I'm absolutely delighted to put forward Olive uh, and Mary, but especially Olive as the Deputy Mayor of South Tyneside. I know that she will represent the borough in the best of her ability and will be absolutely fantastic. Um, Olive and Mary, as I say, have been friends for many, many years. They, they come as, as a, a partnership, really. Uh, Olive is one of four children. Olive was born uh, in Horsley Hill, at St. Cuthbert's Avenue. Um, Olive was married to Jimmy, and they settled in a flat in Reed Street. And Jimmy would joke that they had hot and cold running mice in the flat. Um, after they moved from Reed Street, Olive and Jimmy then moved to Lincoln Luxury Flats. Um, and that was across the road from Headley Young's, and that's where Olive worked at Headley Young's. She then went on to have um, Leslie. Um, and when Leslie was eight years old, uh, Olive worked hard at Plessy's, saved our wages up to get a deposit for the house in Reading Road. So that is some achievement, whereas Ginny kept his wage to keep the family going. She saved tirelessly to get that deposit, and that's a huge achievement. Um, by this time when Olive was working at Plessy's, uh, very active in the Union Unite, very political, um, so that's why she obviously got on well with, with Celia and, and with Mary. Um, so the history with Billy Hall. Olive was elected in 2006. It was a tough time, um, worked tirelessly to get support of the residents and was duly elected in 2006. I followed a few years after that, winning it by just 10 votes. And I only won that seat because of Olive, because of her hard work, determination, contacting <coughs> residents, uh, getting that support. So I've really got a, a huge thank for Olive for all her hard work. Olive is a, a, a Labour councillor for Biddick and All Saints, works tirelessly. Every day she's out on the road. Everybody in Biddick Hall knows Olive. It uh, doesn't matter where you are, and through the Plessy connection, but because she's done something for either that family or friends of families, you know, she's, she's really well known and well respected. Um, so, I think Olive and Mary will have a tremendous year as Deputy Mayor and Mayoress. I know they represent uh, the borough well, uh, they have a great sense of humour, they're very dedicated, Olive is very, very hard working. Um, Olive can articulate with, you know, ordinary folk, but she can also articulate with very posh people as well. So I just wish them all the very best. Is that seconded? Yes, that's seconded. Councillor Mar, do you wish to speak in support of the motion? Yes, yes, please. <laughs> to begin with, uh, I'd like to congratulate Alan 
as members and residents of Biddick and All Saints Board. I first met her six years ago when I first became a member of the Labour Party. My intention was to be a passive and non-active member of the party. And um, I was just happy to make a stand against the newly elected Cameron government in 2010. A few days after I received my membership card, Olive knocked on my door to inform me of the branch meetings in the, in the ward. She made them sound so interesting, I decided there and then to attend one of these meetings just to satisfy my curiosity. And that's why I'm standing here today. <coughs> When I'm campaigning or on a walkabout in the ward, you can guarantee you will always hear somebody calling out, Olive, Olive, she is so popular in Biddick and All Saints, I often think to myself, this is the Olive Biddick and All Saints ward. <laughs> Sometimes I think that some of the residents don't realise there are three councillors in the ward because of all its popularity, even though we all work hard together in the ward. It is guaranteed when we are out campaigning and you see it from the Labour Party, someone will say, Oh, Olive, or Oh, I know I'm punching. Olive, I think your reputation is because of the years you spent transforming Philip and All Saints Board into a decent place to live. You've worked tirelessly spending a lot of your own time going around the ward, helping people, day, um, going around day or night. No disrespecting my other colleague, Anne Walsh, and previously Tom Piggott, who have also worked very hard to transform the ward but they know how popular Olive is. <coughs> Olive, I have nothing but deep respect for you. <coughs> and personally, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support you have given me throughout my time in the Labour Party and South Tide Council. You worked very hard in my campaign to ensure I was elected. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be standing here today. <coughs> In my opinion, there is no one who deserves this honour more than you. I know that you will do your best and work hard in your role as Deputy Mayor and eventually Mayor of South Townsend. I know you will be a great miss in the ward when you are out performing your duties for South Townsend. I respect you as a fellow member and as a person. I hope you have a happy and truthful time in your duties. I'm proud to know you. Congratulate you being the new deputy of South Townside. Are there any other nominations? Is the motion agreed? Councillor Punchin to step forward and make the declaration of acceptance of office. <coughs> I, Olive Punchin, 
have been elected to the office of Deputy Mayor of South Tyneside Council, declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. Can I say thanks to Anne and Joan for the kind words. to invite the guests of myself and the Deputy Mayor to go to the Members' Lounge where we will join them after the meeting. Okay, colleagues, next item is the Minister of the Meeting of the Council of the 7th of April 2016. Are they accepted as a correct record? Okay. Business is May's communications. There are no May's communications to report on this occasion. Can I take this opportunity to invite members and chief officers for refreshments at the end of the meeting? Next item of business is to consider a report of the chief executive recommending the review and update of the constitution. A copy of the report was sent out to members electronically. Councillor Ian Markham. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. First of all, can I uh, thank Councillor Porthouse and his wife, Patricia, for the <coughs> work that they've undertaken for the bird during the past municipal year, and congratulate yourself and Moira on your appointment as Mayor and Mayor of the Bird, which she was successful here in office. Mr. Mayor, this is an annual report which is presented because the, the Constitution needs to be reviewed at least annually and is updated to take account of any legislative and policy changes. We are recommending three change, changes this afternoon. Members will see that the report is to recognise the importance that the Council places on the Armed Forces Covenant and the proposed to make reference to that covenant in the Constitution and in addition to the responsibilities of the lead member for resources as the Armed Forces Champion to make specific officer responsibility <coughs> for ensuring that the Council fulfils 
its responsibilities under the Defence Employer Recognition Scheme. Secondly, Mr Mayor, it's proposed that the membership of the Audit Committee will be uh, enhanced, uh, will be, sorry, expanded by one to enhance the range of knowledge and experience available to that committee. And thirdly, as, as we do every year, members will be aware that the Council has undergone a number of changes in its staffing structure. It's therefore necessary for us to agree an updated list of officers who will be authorised to operate under delegated powers. The proposed list of officers is set out in the appendix of the report and it's also proposed that the Head of Legal Services deputise for the Chief Executive in considering whether to authorise certain applications under the Regulation of Investigative Powers Act and I would stress that except the set out in the report the powers delegated to officers has not changed. Mr Mayor, I move the recommendations. Thank you Councillor Malcolm. Is that seconded? <laughs> Are there any questions on, or does any member wish to speak to the report or move an amendment? Is the motion agreed? Agreed. The motion is agreed. <laughs> I will now ask the Leader of the Council to announce the Cabinet membership and portfolios. Once again, Councillor Malcolm. So there, thank you very much. And in what will be a very eventful year for South Tyneside, given that the North East uh, Combined Authority has agreed to proceed to the next stage uh, of an elected mayor for the North East and notwithstanding the fact that we uh, are going to be pressing ahead with further regeneration across South Tyneside in the next financial year Mr Mayor uh, I would like to nominate the following to serve alongside me in the cabinet Councillor Alan Kerr as Deputy Leader of the Council Councillor Ed Martin as Lead Member for Resources and Innovation Councillor John Anglin is the lead member for Regeneration and Economy. Councillor Alan West is the lead member for Housing and Transport. Councillor Moira Smith is the lead member for Area Management and Community Safety. Councillor John Atkinson is the lead member for Children, Young People and Families. Mr Mayor, I'm proposing that we merge the Adult Social Care and Public Health portfolios to create a new lead member for independence and well-being. <coughs> That's as a consequence of government legislation which is seeing uh, a lot of integration now between public health and adult services. And I'd like to nominate Councillor Tracy Dixon to, to serve the, in that portfolio. And finally, to create a new uh, lead member portfolio of voluntary sector partnerships and cooperatives uh, as all members will know, I've been talking for some time now that South Tyneside needs to strengthen the third sector on South Tyneside. I don't think we're punching anywhere near the top of our way in that uh, sector. And of course, cooperatives are very much an expanding new way of organising uh, 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 some sort of sectors and some sort of responsibilities. And I'd like us to examine uh, becoming a member of the National Cooperative Council's network. So I'd like to nominate Councillor Nancy Maxwell as the new lead member for voluntary sector partnerships. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Next business is to appoint membership to committees, as this is in the board of Councillor Yes, Sam. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I would also like to congratulate you to your appointment as Mayor of South Tyneside. I'd like to say a special thanks to Councillor Porthouse and his lovely wife, Patricia, who have been true ambassadors for South Tyneside. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That's subject to any changes that any group leaders may now wish to indicate. The membership of committees for 2016-17 be indicated in the printed list circulated to members this afternoon which meets political balance requirements. Thank you, Councillor Dixon. Is that agreed? Agreed. Members agree the motion. The next business is the appointment of Chairman and Vice-Chairman of the committees as listed in the green papers. Councillor Dixon. Thank you, Mr Mayor. That the Chairman and Vice-Chairman of committees for 2016-17 be indicated in the printed list related to members this afternoon. Is that seconded? Are there any alternative nominations? Are those appointments agreed? Agreed. It's agreed. 
Next business is to appoint representatives to serve on outside bodies for 2016-2017, as set out in the yellow pages. Councillor Dixon. Thank you, Mr Mayor. That the appointment of representatives to be as indicated on the list is circulated to members this afternoon, and that the filling of any remaining vacancies on these outside bodies, together with any in year changes that become necessary, be delegated to the Chief Executive in consultation with the Leader of the Council, except in the case of school governing bodies, which shall be delegated <coughs> to the Corporate Director of Children, Adults and Health in consultation with the Leader of the Council. Is that seconded? Yes. Are there any alternative nominations? Are those appointments agreed? Yes. Next business is to agree the programme of ordinary meetings. Councillor Dixon. Thank you, Mr Mayor. That the meetings of the Council and Committees is indicated on the programme of ordinary meetings circulated to member this afternoon be approved. Is that seconded? Just one point, Mr Mayor, just on the blue sheet. Very important given the tough negotiations that we're having with government on the potential election of an elected mayor for the North East. The election on the 4th of May 2017 isn't for a metro mayor, it's for an embedded mayor. <laughs> Believe me, there is a difference and it's very important that that's noted by officers. It might blow the whole deal apart. Right, is that agreed? Agreed. Next that concludes the business, and can I remind <coughs> members and officers of the refreshments now available, and may I thank you for your attendance. <laughs>